What's going on YouTube? Fetty Louie here bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid fade on my boy Damien, so stay tuned. Starting off with the gold FX, we're going to be creating our first guideline. You want to make sure you're stretching the skin when you're balding out because you don't want your teeth to fall into a follicle and cut them. Using our gamma clippers, we're going to create our second guideline with the lever all the way open. After we're done creating our second guideline, we're going to close the lever all the way closed and attack that first guideline. Switching over to our one open, we're going to be creating our third guideline. Using the one, we're going to close the lever all the way and attack that line. Doing this will soften up the line and prepare us for a half guard. Using the half guard, we're going to remove that line. Now we're going to be switching to our two guard all the way open, getting it ready for our one and a half guard. Once we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we're going to switch to our one and a half guard. Now it's time to blend the bulk into the sides. We're going to be using clipper over comb. When the clipper is held horizontally, I am debulking hair. When the clipper is held vertically, I am blending hair.
Now we're adding some finishing touches with the one and a half guard. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Like, comment, subscribe is greatly appreciated. Now that we're moving on to the back, you want to make sure you take your time and get as many dark spots as you see. Usually the hair is more denser but near the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you get those spots. We're going to be switching over to the two guard all the way open and deep bulking before we start blending. After you're done using the one and a half card, you want to always go back to your one guard all the way open and detail. Switching over to our clip rover comb method, we're going to get the bulk out of the sides. We needed a detail a little bit more near the occipital bone, so I put my one and a half guard and made sure I did that.
Before you even start to line the client up, you want to make sure you debulk the line. As you can see right here, I'm pulling out my thinning shears because I see a little bit of darkness. When you're lining somebody up, you want to take your time and tap. Don't rush anything. Now moving on to the C cup, we're just going to etch it in. Now we're gonna do a little bit of sheer work. He does have really curly hair, so I'm gonna take a good amount off. A little bit of extra detail before we move in with our Turkish razor. All right, YouTube, I hope you guys like the cut. This is my boy, Damien. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.